Within Blender, there are two methods that can be used to measure areas. For example, over here on the right side, this will be the default one. And over this, we'll be using the measure it add-on. Now, let's take a look at how those two will work. I will select the object. I will press tab to go to edit mode. And you're going to see that by default, since everything will be selected over here, I'm going to receive that information regarding the um, area for the for all the selected surface you can activate that over here at the top under measurements face area and keep in mind that this will also update for example if i will go over here to edge selection and i will grab this and move it on the y-axis and now i will select this we're gonna see that it has been updated to 6.01 in this case so this is the default measure in order to measure the area. And you can also activate measure it add-on. That will be nested over here under view. You're going to see the measure it tools. In order to enable this, you just need to go to edit, preferences. You need to enable within the get extension. And afterwards, you're going to search it over here. So you're going to type it measure it and you're going to have this installed. Currently, I have it already installed, so this is um, how you can obtain that. You're going to see that the repository for this will be extension.blender.org. Now, let's see how the measure it will work. I will go over here, for example, for this cube. I will enable the measure it, and we have the possibility to hide or show that. And each dimension will be added over here so we can have those deleted and just like previously i will go to edit mode i will select the face and i will click on area and we're going to see the information regarding that appearing over here we can do various changes regarding regarding this so underneath the measure tool we're going to have the section regarding the configuration so over here we're going to have the text size so in this case, we can have that increased. If I will hide the measurement units, we're going to see that the square meter will no longer be appearing over there. We're just going to have a superscript to position over there. We can also change the alignment of the text. But as you can see, we need to recreate an annotation with the newly defined element. So currently, now we're going to have that position like this within the center and we're going to have the text size over here. The main advantage of using measure it is that it will automatically update. For example, if I will do a loop cut over here on the middle. I will select the top edge and I will grab it and move it two meters upwards. If I will select those two top faces which resemble say the roof of a house and i will click on area we're gonna see that that measurement will appear over here we can also change the color of that and as you can see in this case 8.94 square meters so with the classic version without the measure it again i will do a loop cut i will select that and drag these two meters I have the possibility to enable the face area and I will select those two faces. But we're going to see that the main disadvantage is that we're going to receive the individual value for each and we will need to have those um, added in order to find the total area. So currently we only have two faces, but imagine if you're going to have a shape with multiple uh, faces, it will be a lot easier to use the measure it um, add-on. Okay, so I hope you find this video useful. I will position a similar video over here on the left side and a subscribe button to the right. So that's it. Thanks for watching.